Hi, I am Cani Reza. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I am here to demonstrate day two of the five lessons on the unit on pine trees. Now, as you recall from yesterday's lesson, how do we start a science lesson? Through our novelty. So let me pull out of my novelty. And this is something that I would pull out every day. I would put it away before my science lesson. I would take it out so that children can reconnect, refocus to our main content area today or our main topic today. The first thing I would do is let's review. Yesterday we studied about the characteristics of pine trees. So we're going to review today. And I would go through the whole thing that the children did yesterday. We would go over the words, read them, and uh, just, just quickly describe some of them, some highlight points. After the review, now let's go into our specific objective. Today, we are going to study and we're going to identify the life cycle of the pine tree. But before we do that, let's do our engagement. How is the best way to get children actively engaged? And that's through hands-on. So what I would do is give every child a pine cone. Now, where does our tree come from? What do we need to get our tree growing? What is the most important thing that we need to get our tree to grow? We're going to observe pine, pine cones. Through the pine cones, we're going to identify the life cycle of pine trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give every child a pine cone, and I'm going to give every child a hand lens. Remember, I want their little hands actively engaged, investigating, exploring, identifying, using their five senses. This is an excellent method to help children connect. So now when I give every child a pine cone, every child a hand lens, they're going to be involved within themselves. And I'm going to again tell them, I want you to observe with your eyes, use your hand lens to look at every detail of your pine cone. Now, I want you to hear it. Use your sense of hearing. Does a pine cone make noise? Maybe if you tap at it or press it, maybe it will make noise. But let children explore with it. Then smell it. Ah, what does a pine cone smell like? Does it smell like the branch yesterday of the pine tree? Or does it not have a smell? Again, use our sense of touch. Let's touch it. How does it feel? And allow children ample time to investigate and observe the pine cone with their hand lens. Now, gather your children back. Let's write your observation. What did you observe during your engagement? And uh, while they're telling me, of course, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be writing what they're telling me. And during this time, while children are telling me about what they observed, I will let them keep their hand lens with them. Remember, as children say, oh, I noticed that um, it had a little bit like a, a little stickers that if I poked at it, it would hurt my finger. Some children would say, oh, I didn't see that. Let me see. Let me observe. So give children time. As other children share, let the other children go back and observe what other children have observed. That is very powerful. Now, what do we call this? A pine cone. Let's take a look at our vocabulary word. And by the way, these vocabulary words are also in our ebook that we're offering with our whole package of lessons. Tell me something 
about the pine cone that you observed today. Oh, I, I tell me, say it's brown. Okay, I'm gonna put here brown. B R O W N. The pine cone is brown. Also, by the way, another thing that we let's don't forget, let's write the word pine cone. I'm gonna write it right here. Pine P I N E pine cone. C O N E. And the pine cone comes from the pine tree. Uh, remember, it takes time to write, but the more uh, practice that you use spelling out the, le the words, the quicker children will start uh, identifying and reading those words. Now, what else can you tell me about the pine cone? It's brown, it's hard. Okay, let's put it, it's hard, H-A-R-D. What are we doing here? We're identifying the pine cone. Anything else? Oh, it's got stickers. You're right, it has stickers. Let's write stickers here. S-T-I-C-K-E-R-S stickers. Now some children may say it's prickly, especially if those children have a high language vocabulary in their little brain. They may go ahead and say it's prickly. While you're, while you're investigating the, the, while the children investigated the pine cones, I also have other varieties. Look at what I found. All these four pine cones are attached together. Isn't that interesting? And again, I would just leave it there for children to explore with. Something else, look at the pine branch that you observed yesterday. Did you notice that here it has two little pine cones attached to it? Something else, I want you to observe in your pine cone, if you open these little uh, uh, flaps from the pine cone, you're gonna see that inside them are the, uh, the little needles. Let me see if I can find one in one of my pine cones. Uh, I mean, not needles, but seeds, the little seeds. If you look inside, I think there was, I think I saw one in one of my, uh, Yes, if you open up the little flap, you will see that inside here, and you can even pull it, is the seed. Look at the little seed that came from inside the pine cone. This is the little seed buried inside there, protected with this little heart flap. And notice it's attached to a uh, very light, like a little feathery or like a paper thin uh, attachment. And there's your little seed right there, okay? As a matter of fact, this little seed, I am going to uh, tape it on to my chart so that later children can come back and take a look at it. There's a little seed. Well, guess what? When I mention this, Guess what children are going to do? They're going to go back and open up the little flaps to see if they find the seed. So, is this a seed? No. This, the pine cone, protects the seeds inside there. Now, let's, let's, let's go into a new investigation. And for that, I'm going to turn my chart around because I'm going to provide another chart for children. Today, we were going to look at the life cycle of the pine tree, right? Through the pine cone. And the first thing that we have in the life cycle of the pine tree is the seed. I'm going to put it a little bit standing up this way. Here's the seed. Now, let's find our vocabulary word for seed. Here it is, seed. Now, let's write the word seed. S-E-E. 
E D S. Now look at these seeds. Aren't they the same as this one that we found here inside our pine cone? Wouldn't you say that is powerful for children? Exciting. You're allowing them to investigate real life experiences. After the seed, after you plant the little seed, it goes under the ground. Now we have a little branch, a little seedling. Now let's find our vocabulary word for seedling. Here it is. Seedling. Let's spell it out. S E E D L I N G. Seedling. Here's a little seedling right here, and look at it. Still has that little, this uh, uh, little feather. I mean, little lightweight flap attached to it, ready to fall off. Now, as soon as that falls off, what do we have? We have our little sapling. And here's our vocabulary word: sapling. S A. P L I N G. Now look at all the children are learning today. The fact that you allow them to investigate through the pine cone, allow them to hold a hand lens, allow them to look for seeds. Can you imagine the attention, the focus, and the learning that is going on in their little brains? Every little connection is going on. Their connections are expanding. And now finally, what do we have? Our pine tree. Here's our pine tree. Now let's find our vocabulary word for pine tree right here. Now let's spell pine tree. P-I-N-E, pine tree. T-R-E. E. Now here is the life cycle of our tree, of our pine, of our pine tree. So here we have life cycle of the pine tree. First we start with the seed that came out of the pine cone. From the seed goes into the seedling, from the seedling to the sapling, and then finally we have a big, big tree. Now let's connect to literacy. Yesterday, I recommended this little book, right? Because this little book has the seedling. Look at the seedling right here. Actually, it's the seed hanging on to, I mean, it's the cover of the seed hanging on to here, if you can see here. And uh, it gives you more information. So we do want him to connect the literacy through a book, through printed material. And not only this book, today I also would recommend Tell Me Tree, which is an excellent book by Gail Gibbons. And of course, don't limit yourself to only these books that I'm recommending. Go to the library. You will find lots and lots of books on trees, on different types of trees, especially pine trees as well. And let children explore through the print of the books. Now, in this particular book, they also will see the, the, a baby tree is called a seedling. So here's another way of, of saying what a seedling is. So now children can connect through the printed material of a book, through picture cards, through hands-on investigation and observation and engagement, now, can you imagine what children will learn today? Yesterday, they observed through the branch. Today, through the pine cone, which is where we get the seed for the tree. And of course, you can continue looking at other information about the tree and keep adding more information to your, to your current knowledge. Okay, after we connect through literacy, what is the next step? Connect through technology. Now, what would be a great word to include on our computer? And that is pine cones. 
the word pine cones, right? And you can pull this word. Go ahead and put this word on the computer and let them spell out pine cone on their keyboard. You will be amazed what they will see. They will see pine cones like this. They will also see baby pine cones on the branch. They will see mature pine cones. They will also see long, thin pine cones. And guess what? Now their higher order thinking will elevate because now they're going to reason and say, if the pine cone is long and thin, does that mean that the tree is going to be long and thin? Or if the pine cone is short and, and wide, does that mean that my pine tree is going to be wide and, and big? Not all pine trees are pointed, but a lot of them are, right? For example, where this came from is not tall and pointed. So this is an excellent way for children to continue to explore with information and new information. And of course, how do we end the lesson? Tell me one thing that you learned about the seed of the pine tree. Ah, it's in the pine cone. Excellent. Notice that by the next day, by the third day, now children are verbalizing complete sentences. I found that the seed is in the pine cone. Other children may say, I discovered that the seed is protected by a very thin paper type uh, uh, little flap as well as a strong flap. And guess what? When I pulled this, when I had this pine cone and I brought it into the classroom, what did we see coming out of this pine cone? Lots of little insects, lots of little flies. Why? They were in there eating the seed. So you see why the pine cone protects the seed so that all those insects can't get in there and eat their little seed. But of course, look at how many seeds there are. So out of all these ones, there are some seeds that will survive and they'll, they'll survive the insects. Now, this concludes our demonstration lesson day two. I look forward to seeing you on day three. Thank you.